If you're a client who is interested in maybe working with us, or if you are a simulations enthusiast who wants to improve their storytelling skills in order to show results in a more appropriate and attractive way, this is the video I want you to watch. So we will use an automated car parking model of a real car parking space that exists in Israel to show a few different things. And to do that, we will show you the simulation model and also a dashboard to display data. This is for three main reasons. One of them is to show you how we validate the model in order to be sure that what we did as a simulation model actually represents reality in an appropriate way. The second one is to show you how we do storytelling in order to convince or influence stakeholders on a strategic dimension. And the third one is to show in an attractive way how you can display data in order for anyone at any level to understand it and use it in any way they want. So let's get started. Okay, so let's see how the simulation works first, because we want to understand what we're doing. So a lot of cars are coming here through this road and they come to the waiting area in which they will wait for their spot to have an elevator available or a floor available. The elevator will take the cars to a particular floor and when they arrive there, there will be a platform like this one who will take the car to any position in the parking place. So a car can go to any of these car parkings and when there is a car that needs to leave, it will show this red thing on the top and the platform will take it away. Now we can see the floors in different perspectives and we can have all the information related to the status of the floor in this panel here. So right now the car 202, which is this one, wants to leave, but there's a situation in which, for example, this car here wants to leave, but there's another car in front of it. So the platform will relocate this green car into another position in the parking place and then it will be able to go and pick up this car as soon as an elevator is available. Here we see that the elevator is not available and the living car 430 needs to leave, which is this one. So as soon as the elevator arrives, the platform can go and pick up the car and put it in the elevator. And that's it. And in general, we want to see different things like utilization for each one of the different floors and also the number of waiting cars either on the road, in the waiting area on, or for elevators. So we want to have this data, but this is just the dashboard we see in any logic, but we can do much more than this. So in order to build a really powerful uh, dashboard, we use Power BI, and this is the dashboard that we have. Now here on the top right, we have different configurations that are equivalent to different scenarios that are related to how our simulation works. And this panel here shows us all the characteristics associated to that particular configuration and this changes with every one of them. So these configurations could have something like whether you're using reinforcing learning or not in your platforms or your strategy for your platforms and elevators and so on. We have a simplified version here in which you can only see the speed of the car, for example, the elevator speed and other elements that are associated to our inputs to the model. But let's see a bit more of what we can do. In this panel here, we have all the things related to the exported data that was generated in the simulation. So here we can use the scenario or configuration that we selected and see all the information that we have, for example, for the number of cars in a particular floor or the number of cars waiting to leave from this particular floor. And we can select any of the floors and see the information in here. Now, of course, we can change the configuration and see what happened in a different scenario. So we see that the number of cars 
in this particular floor are completely different in this new scenario. And many times you want to see what happened in a particular segment of your timeline. So this model ran for 24 hours, but maybe you want to see it 8 to 11. So you can filter that and see that in a much more granular way. This allows you to see if things make sense in order to validate the model and also to express and to tell a story to any stakeholder that is interested in. And this, these graphs are very easy to see, very easy to manipulate with these filters. Also with a dashboard like this, you can use much more advanced graphs like this one that shows you the average park cars and also the remaining parking lots as the sum you will have the total capacity and you can have box plots which in general are not possible to easily do in any logic or at least they are not a built-in function but they are very easy to do in power bi now let's see this new feature that allows you to compare different scenarios so let's for example compare 100 and 101 and this will be for the floor b03 so here we can see the number of cars on this floor in the timeline that we selected in a comparison between two different scenarios. So it's easy to see that in scenario 100, the utilization of the, this floor was much higher than in scenario 101. And you can see this comparison among all the uh, elements that you want to show. In, and we can go further checking these statistics, for example, that allows us to compare 100 and 101 with the average parked car in each one of the levels that we have available or the max number of car parks. So in 101, the floors were never utilized to the maximum, but in scenario 100, they were. And we can do all these comparisons using also box plots. And this allows you to tell a story very convincing when you want to explain why a scenario is so different than another one and how different it is. And finally, here we have the comparison with all the elements in the building, if we want to compare two scenarios, or even we can compare three or more scenarios. So here we see that in this histogram, that 20% of the time, there were 132 cars in the system for scenario 100, which is the maximum utilization, while in scenario 101, the number of cars in the system were around between 30 and 50 cars. And there's no limit in visualization in here. And you can even do these beautiful violin plots that show the distribution very similar to the box plot on, for example, the time it takes for a car to leave the building once it is requested. So of course, you're not a stakeholder for this particular model. So we show it in a very generic way. But I want you to process and see the potential that all these dashboards and advanced visualization methods can have for any stakeholder that wants to understand what the system is doing and what is the potential for any kind of strategy or scenario that you want to implement. And if you are an any logic or simulation developer, you should aim to show these kind of things in this way. And if you are a potential client, you should expect from us to have this kind of results for you and go through all the storytelling work. So finally, if you want to play with this model and see how it works, you can always go to norjax.com and you will find the link to this in here, car parking demo model. And here you will see the simulation model here that you can run and you can also see the whole dashboard that you can see by yourself and play with it. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon.